Hi, welcome to another video. So, I like to be on a budget because it's always great to be on a budget. But, in the age of AI subscriptions, it gets very hard to manage. That's why I really like smaller and low-cost subscriptions as well, like the GLM coding plan, which is a great plan for $3 or $6, whatever you want to call it. It gives you just enough and allows you to use it freely. I like the GLM model a lot. It is one of the best coders. Way better than whatever the hell Haiku is, and on par with Sonnet. I even prefer it for designs over Sonnet. It makes some really sick designs. However, I find it a bit weak at planning and stuff like that. I have talked about it in one of my previous videos, and I like GPT-5 Codex a lot for planning tasks. However, it can get a bit costly, and most of you and I would prefer to have one subscription, something like the GLM coding plan. Many of you might prefer to have another model for planning, like Sonnet, and I believe one of the best options is something we already have in VS Code itself, and that's Copilot. GitHub's Copilot is something that many of us may not give enough credit to, but these days, I hear a lot of people praising its agent mode and everything. Not that it matters here, because I have a trick up my sleeve that allows you to not change your coder's interface while still using this plan's functionality. Anyway, this costs only $10 and gives you unlimited access to GPT-5 Mini and Grok Code Fast. It also gives you access to Claude 4.5 Sonnet GPT-5 Codex and almost all kinds of models that you'd need. Obviously, this has some limits, but it's not bad. Considering how I use it, I almost never hit those limits. But yeah, you should check their limits. I wasn't able to find any resources on how much limit you actually get. Anyway, I think this is worth the $10, because it basically gives you access to all kinds of models that you'd ever need and pairing it with GLM is the best option. In total, it only costs $10 and $3 or $6, totaling to only $13 or $16 accordingly, which is cheaper than Cursor while being a really great option and basically giving you all kinds of models. If you're thinking, why not just co-pilot? Then the reason is that it's a bit limited to use as your daily driver you'll start hitting limits pretty soon. But if you just use the models from there occasionally and for planning, while using GLM 4.6 as the main editor, then it works really well. And that's what I've been using. So, let's say you get both of these subs. How do you configure them to use in a cohesive interface? Well, it's pretty simple. I use Kilo code, so I'll be configuring that here and it has a trick up its sleeve that I'll be using. So, just get Kilo installed by searching for it in the VS Code Marketplace, and then just open it up. Now, head over to Settings, and here, just set up one profile called ZAI, with the provider also set as that, and then select the International Coding Plan option. Enter the API key that you get from the ZAI site. Once that is done, Create another profile here. Let's call this one Copilot. Here, you'll need to select the VS Code LM API. This is basically the Copilot API that allows Kilo Code to use Copilot models. It's a really good way to utilize your Copilot subscription if you don't like the Copilot agent interface or if it doesn't work well for you. So, just select the model that you wish to use. Also, GPT-5 Mini is free for 50 requests as well. So, you can use that for free if you know you'll stay under 50 credits. I will be using GPT-5 Mini as it's unlimited, and I can use it all I want. I can switch to something like Sonnet or Codex when I need to do some hard debugging or something. Now, you can just go to the main interface, and here you can see that we have different modes, which are Architect, Code, Ask, Debug, and Orchestrator. 
Now, let me just walk you through what I recommend using in each one of these modes. In Architect, I recommend using the GPT-5 Codex or Sonnet model. Many of you may also be fine with GPT-5 Mini, because I think it's pretty good at planning, but it can sometimes overthink and not be very reliable at high-level planning. But it's unlimited, so if you want to save credits, it can be a very good option. Anyway, then we've got the editor. The editor is always the GLM 4.6 for me. It works really well, does some great edits, tool calls, and is just really good. It's also great at design. It doesn't make those purple designs, and it doesn't create 100 markdowns. So yeah, that's always static. If you don't like GLM, then you can swap it for GPT-5 Mini from your Copilot API, but I like GLM way better. So use it accordingly. Then we have Ask. Ask is almost always set to GPT-5 Mini for me. Debug is always set to GPT-5 Codex for me. It's awesome at debugging, way better than Sonnet for me. Similarly, Orchestrator is not something I use much. This basically spawns multiple sub-agents that use one of the modes mentioned above. So, you'll need to set a good Orchestrator model for this if you want to use it. I know it looks like a lot of models, but with this subscription, you have the option and I think there are strengths in all models, except Haiku. So yeah, you should check this out. It's affordable, way better than whatever ambiguous limits cursor has, and it's also better than the rug pulls Anthropic does. So, this is definitely worth checking out. I think GLM is great in itself, and configuring it with something like the Copilot API while still having access to models that most people care about and equipping them when needed is a great option. I sometimes get frustrated with GLM as well when it gets stuck in an error, and it's always good to have something like GPT-5 Codex or Sonnet to bring it back and then pave the way for GLM. It's very fun as well. I like this setup for now, and I'll update in another video if there's something else that I may like. I thought this was a worth it setup, and that's why I wanted to talk about it as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!